Jenna. is quick and easy. Just load files, slides and filters directly into the processor. Sample recapping allows the opportunity for further out of the vial testing if required. You can even process multiple slides from one sample. The Thermoprep 5000 is able to process gynecological, general cytology and urocyte samples. The processor is a fully automated walkaway instrument. Just load and leave. Unlike other batch processors on the market, chain of custody verification on the ThinPet 5000 processor eliminates the possibility of sample mix-up by matching the barcode on the vial with the label on the slide. If the barcode on the slide and vial do not match, the ThinPet 5000 processor will not process that sample and will move on to the next specimen.
Using trusted ThinPrep technology, the ThinPrep bar is spun creating currents that are strong enough to separate debris, disperse mucus and randomise cells, yet gentle enough to have no adverse effect on cell morphology. The ThinPrep pap test filter is inserted into the sample vial. A gentle vacuum is created within the filter. Cell collection is controlled by the ThinPrep 5000 processor. This ensures that just enough of the sample is collected to create an optimal thin layer of cells in a 20 mm circle. Following cell collection, the ThinPrep pap test filter is inverted and then gently pressed against the ThinPrep microscope slide. Cells then adhere to the slide in an even distribution in a defined circular area. Once the sample is processed, the resulting slide is placed into a standard staining rack within an alcohol bath. Let's take a closer look at the prep stain process. Cervical samples collected in sure path preservation fluid are received from a clinician's office and accessioned according to the laboratory's protocol. Each vial is checked for proper labeling and is visually inspected to ensure it contains the head of the sample collection device. Specimen vials, centrifuge tubes, and glass slides are labeled. Barcode labels are recommended but are optional. Our proprietary cell enrichment process removes obscuring elements like blood, mucus, and inflammatory cells. This process is what provides the sure path difference in sample clarity and homogeneity as compared to the conventional PAP method. Once accessioning is complete, a tray of sure path vials is placed onto a multivial vortexer for 15 to 20 seconds. Vortexing randomizes the cell sample, partially disaggregating any cell clusters and helps free any cells clinging to the submersed collection device. Four PrepMate processing racks are provided and enable the organization and processing of samples. Each rack is numbered and keyed to accept only its corresponding centrifuge rack. This keyed system is maintained throughout the process, ensuring samples are always properly oriented. A PrepMate rack is loaded with SurePath specimen vials and the corresponding centrifuge tubes. Four milliliters of density reagent are dispensed into each centrifuge tube. A disposable PrepMate syringe is then placed adjacent to each specimen vial, and the rack is ready to be loaded onto the automated PrepMate accessory. The PrepMate accessory automates this phase. Once started, a disposable PrepMate syringe is loaded and pierces the cap of the SurePath sample vial mixing the solution to randomize the cellular contents. Eight milliliters of sample solution are then withdrawn from each vial and layered onto the density reagent within the corresponding centrifuge tube. This process automatically repeats for each loaded sample. After the prep mate cycle is complete, the centrifuge tubes are transferred to the centrifuge bucket for processing. This process takes approximately three minutes per tray of up to 12 vials. The two milliliters of remaining sample within the SurePath collection vial can be immediately stored or redirected for additional testing. A pre-programmed centrifuge is provided with the prep stain system and can be used for both gynecological and non-gynecological applications. With SurePath slides, there are two centrifuge cycles. The first, soft spin, takes a little over two minutes. In this cycle, the density reagent sorts particles based on size, shape, and density. Heavier diagnostic material is allowed to pass through the gradient, settling to the bottom of the sample, while lighter red blood cells, mucus, and approximately 50% of the inflammatory cells remain trapped in the sample layer above. Once the soft spin is complete, the supernatant fluid containing the obscuring materials is removed. 
Then the second centrifugation, a 10 minute hard spin occurs and excess fluid is removed leaving an enriched cell pellet. The samples are then vortexed and are now ready to go on to the prep stain slide processor. Centrifuge buckets containing tubes are loaded directly into the prep stain sample area. Labeled slides are placed directly onto the prep stain slide processor. The processor can hold up to 48 slides per cycle. Note that all tube and slide racks are keyed and can only be inserted in the correct position. Disposable settling chambers attached to the slides define the 13 mm cell deposition area where thin layer preparation and discrete staining are automatically completed by the prep stain slide processor. Multiple slides can be generated from one specimen if desired, which is useful for processing non-gonecological specimens and for performing repeat testing. Once the slide racks are loaded onto the prep stain, automated slide processing can begin. Three processing options are offered from the prep stain main menu. They are preparation and staining, slide preparation only, or stain only. Once selected, the number of slides to be processed is entered. The system primes itself and the robotic arm moves into action, picking up a fresh disposable tip prior to each sample. It moves to the appropriate tube, dispenses water into the tube, and resuspends the cell pellet. After the sample is mixed, 200 microliters of the cell suspension is transferred into each settling chamber, starting a 10-minute drying phase in which cells gravitate through the liquid and settle onto the slide to create a thin layer preparation. If the staining option is selected, the prep stain slide processor proceeds with the discrete staining that includes all the common steps involved in a progressive PAP stain. Standardized discrete staining eliminates another variable from the preparation process. Stain intensity and tint remain consistent and the stain never needs to be filtered or reused. Stain bundles have four tubes to dispense the staining reagents as appropriate. The longest tip is the aspiration tube, which vacuums excess waste and stain into the waste container. The system provides an audible alert upon specimen completion, freeing the technician to do other things while the automated prep stain processes slides. During the preparation only process, slides are dispensed in alcohol. The alcohol is simply decanted when ready to proceed with staining and cover slipping. The prep stain system takes about 60 minutes to automatically prepare and stain 48 slides unattended or 34 minutes using slide preparation only. Hands-on time to complete the pre-processing steps is approximately 20 to 25 minutes for 48 slides. The end result is a 13 millimeter circle with a nice homogeneous unobstructed view for screening which can be done either manually by the cytotechnologist or automatically using the focal point slide profile.